Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to transfer everything from your old iPhone to a new iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'll walk you through step by step, show you everything that transfers when it's completed, and show you what it looks like to transfer an eSIM if you're in the United States. Now, the first thing you'll need is your Apple ID and password. You'll need that or maybe a phone number to recover that if you don't have that information. Additionally, you'll need app passwords as well as many apps will prompt you to log back in as an additional security measure. So whether that's maybe WhatsApp or something such as Facebook, you'll need that information. Now, if your phone's already on the home screen, you'll need to actually reset this to the point where you're at the startup screen, just like when you took it out of the box and turned it on for the first time. Without it being on this screen, you won't be able to transfer this information seamlessly. So make sure you're on the screen. If you're not already, you can reset your phone by going to settings, general, then going down to transfer or reset iPhone and erase all content and settings, but be aware on the new phone, it will erase everything. However, it will not affect the old phone. So just keep that in mind. And we'll talk more about that toward the end of the video. As far as what it transfers, well, it transfers everything from your home screen setups, their layouts, all the app data, whether that's text messages, your contacts, your different photos, and much more. And there's different ways to set this up. Now you can actually transfer using iTunes or a Mac, you can also transfer using iCloud backup and restore or directly from one to the other wirelessly. I find that the iCloud backup and restore is the fastest way to do it, but directly works as well if you don't have iCloud storage available. However, Apple makes iCloud storage available. And if you go into your settings and maybe you ordered this directly from Apple, you'll have a prompt to get started and it will back everything up. If you're not already seeing that, maybe you didn't order it from Apple, tap on your ID at the top, and under the iCloud section, you'll see iCloud backups. Go into iCloud backups and backup now if you haven't had one already. You'll see here that it says last successful backup to 23 p.m. So I'm good to go. Mine's already backed up and we can move on to the next step. So we'll go ahead and unlock the new phone or swipe up and we should get a prompt on our other phone. It says set up new iPhone. We can tap continue. If you're not seeing this, lock both phones and try it again. Once you've tapped continue, it will bring up sort of a QR code to help you scan and connect the devices. So you'll see it says waiting for other iPhone, just bring it into sight there, and it says getting things ready. We'll give it a moment and let it run. On your old iPhone, go ahead and select the account you wanna move over. If you have a child account, it will show. If you don't, you'll just have one account. I'll select my own and tap get started. Now it says finish on the new phone. It wants me to enter the passcode of my original phone. So we'll do that. That's the same one you unlock the phone with the first time you reboot it. Now it says setting up your iPhone. So give it just a moment for this to take place. And now it says it will take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, wait for it to activate and then go to the next step. And this is where we need to transfer our number. Now, if you have an eSIM in the United States, we'll just walk through this. If you have a physical SIM card, go ahead and put the physical SIM card in, take it out of your old iPhone, put it into the new one outside the USA. You may be able to do that. So we'll transfer from another phone that's nearby, or you could set it up later, but let's go ahead and transfer. So we'll tap on it. It says transfer your phone number. It says once it's transferred, it will stop working on the old phone. So we'll go ahead and tap transfer. It says confirm transfer on your old phone or your other phone. So we'll give it a second to confirm and we'll tap OK. We'll give it a second here. And now it says confirm transfer. Double click the side button to confirm. So we'll double click and it says ready. Now it's going to transfer over. We'll give it just a moment for that to transfer should take a few seconds and you'll see this SOS change to SIM card. Now it says cellular setup complete. That took about 30 to 60 seconds and we're good to go. We'll tap continue. Now that we have our cellular signal, you'll see it in the top here and we'll continue with data and privacy. Tap continue and then we'll go to the next step. Give it just a moment. Now it's asking to set up face ID. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll tap continue, get started and we'll position our face, move closer. It says, then set up face ID. Just move your face around and fill in all of the little lines or bars there. Then it says, use face ID with a mask. You can set this up later or don't use it with a mask. It's up to you. Now it says face ID is now set up. We'll tap continue. 
Now this is where we can transfer information from our old phone to a new one. We can download from iCloud or we can transfer directly from the phone. This will take about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the storage. If you have a one terabyte phone, it will take longer. This is actually a 256 phone. So that's the biggest the storage could be, but it just depends on what you have. So I'm going to download from iCloud, but you can transfer from the phone and it will just start transferring wirelessly from one to the other. We'll go to download from iCloud. It will set up my Apple ID. We'll agree to the terms and conditions and you'll see it says signing in with this nice new prompt that we have here. Now on the old iPhone, it says, enjoy your new iPhone on the new one. It says, make this your new iPhone. So we'll tap done. We'll turn this over for now. And on this phone, the new one, the 15 pro max, it says, make this your new iPhone and apps and data settings, a wallet and connections. We can just leave them as is coming from the other phone or customize this. If we want to, I'll tap continue. I have everything the way I want it. Now it says location services, enable them or don't enable them. So we'll give it just a second here. It will start adding cards to your Apple wallet step-by-step step, and it will prompt you if you want to add it later or do it now. So it may take a few minutes, but walk through this if you want to add them. The next prompt says emergency SOS. It's telling you more about this. If maybe you're in a place with no cell signal, you can actually still get help either with a crash detection or emergency SOS. You can press and hold tap continue. And now it will say restore from iCloud. It will pick the latest backup that's available, or it will let you select one. If you have multiple updates now, keep in mind, if you're on a newer version on your old phone, as far as software goes, than the new phone, that's typically only going to happen. If you're on a beta, make sure that you downgrade the old phone or have a backup from before, or you can try and transfer the information directly to it. Typically you'll need to be on a newer version and with the iPhone 15 series, it actually prompts you to update to the latest version when you're setting it up. Mine's already set up, but now we'll wait for it to restore from iCloud. So it's 2:45 PM. Let's see how long this actually takes until it reboots. It took exactly nine minutes for it to reboot to this point. Now it's actually prompting me on my watch if I want to pair it with the new iPhone. So we'll go ahead and tap. Okay. It will reboot the watch and then connect to the iPhone. You'll see it says restore completed on the iPhone. We'll tap continue. And at this point, it's actually going to restore all of your apps. They're not installed right away. So we'll give it a second here. It's actually going to tell us about the new action button. If you have a pro phone, so we can tap continue or we could set this up. You'll see that we can customize the action button now so we can swipe through and customize this. You'll see here, if we go to customize, you have silent mode, you have focus camera flashlight. You also have voice memo magnifier shortcut accessibility or none. So we'll leave this on silent mode, but you can customize this later as well. We'll tap continue and it says, welcome to iPhone. Now it actually has the wallpaper from the previous backup I had, and you'll see this is laid out the exact same way as my current iPhone. So it's restoring everything. And so we'll wait for this to complete where it transfers everything over. You'll see if I go into things such as photos here, it'll actually start restoring. I don't have anything yet, but this will take a while as long as it's turned on through iCloud. And it says, do you want to use this iPhone when sharing your location? I do as I have people that might want to know where I am using find my, but you'll see there's all my apps they're installing. It will take some time and we'll see what it's like when it's completed. As I'm restoring, you can actually see how much data is left as far as transferring over by going into your settings. In my case, you'll see it says an estimated 31.1 gigabytes will be downloaded to finish restoring your apps and data. So this of course is going to be dependent on your overall internet connection, whether you're on cellular Wi-Fi or something else. So again, this will take a little bit of time. It's installing things in my Apple watch. If this fails, I may need to completely wipe and restore the Apple watch. Hopefully it won't fail. We'll give it some time and let it pair. Now the restore is completed and we can see that within settings. It says iPhone successfully restored from iCloud. We can see backup settings or just tap done. So we'll tap done. Then we can go through and see where it says, get help during an emergency. It's just going to walk you through showing you how to use that and everything should be here. So if we go into our photos that should load, these were some of the photos I took from the unboxing video of this phone along with another one. And we also have everything from our different data here, just in weather. If I go through, everything's the same. If I go into music again, I go to listen now, 
everything's the same. It may take a second to load, but it's all going to be exactly how it was. And as far as WhatsApp, I just had to put in my phone number and it logged me in directly. I did have to sign back in, in some apps, some I didn't. Google, I had to discord. I didn't have to. So it just depends on the app. All of my email passwords and everything have moved over. Once you've verified that everything is restored, your photos are there, your music's there, everything else. Now it's time to erase your old phone. But one word of warning is do not erase photos one by one. The reason for that is typically if you have iCloud photo library enabled, it will delete the photos from the new phone as well. You want to re erase the old phone as a whole, not individual things one by one because those will sync. So what I mean is go into your settings, go to general, then go down to transfer and reset iPhone, and then erase all content and settings. Erasing this, doing it this way will not affect the new phone. Plus you have that backup we made earlier. So if you erase it this way, it just wipes everything off the old phone and you can start over, but don't erase things individually one by one. I've seen that happen many times and then people lose all of their photos. So don't do that. Just erase the old phone as a whole, as far as anything else. Well, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot more to actually do. Once everything's restored, you're good to go log into apps you need to, and you can just use your phone as you wanted to. Let me know how the experience went for you. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.